two a day. That's nice. And this is before we start actually building our uh, military factories. We really need to get those up and running, I think. Right. Um... Get all these military factories up and running, please, and thank you. There we go. So, you're going to be finished the 11th of September. That's fine. Yeah, you've thrown a lot of units into the front. You're nearly finishing your reinforcement, which is nice. Down, we're making even more. You are upgrading still. I need more factories! That's what I need. I need more factories. To war technology has been done. Tanks. 76 days. Damn yeah, skipping we're gonna do that. Oh, oh, King of Romania has just uh, uh, lost one of the uh, 1938, April 1938. So it depends on what the war tension is. Oh yeah, uh, we've definitely been the most. I'm trying to remember when. What's the... What is the, like, level of the, uh... I'm, yeah, I'm trying to, off the top of my head, I'm trying to remember what... level it is before countries can start allowing others into their faction. I'm trying to remember, and I can't. Look at that, 196 million. Manpower. Light tanks, near not enough. And I think I may put the tanks in here. Or cre actually create another unit. Maybe create another army, actually, for the European... For, and that's my armor unit. That might be a good idea. You on you? Mm. I think Romania is the best. The oil, the oil is the key. <laughs> Mechanical computing has been done. Lovely. Uh, September 1937. That's 
production cap, but not like any of that. Reinforcement rate would be nice. Or I could get a modification of the armor. So that's the that is the artillery version. Do I want the artillery version? Do I want the anti-tank? The SU-45 or the SU-76-7? You know what? Let's rush down to the T-34. Uh, <laughs> we do not have a head of time problem. So let's do that. The reason why I want the T-34, we're going to get it. Oh, we're in September. We're going to get three new factories. Justice Allen angered by Romanian posturing. Those naive citizens of the Soviet Union who imagined the Romanians as a peaceful people of peace are entirely out of touch with reality. Those who live at our border do not have the luxury of such delusions, seeing their troops closing in on us is just across it. This is a threat we cannot leave unanswered. With every passing day, Kingdom of Romania should be burned for about is preparing for war. It would be madness for us not to do the same. The Romanian military presence comes to our territory as part increased concern across as this nation appears more and more to be the enemy of the old Union Communist Party. Whether it is the cause or the effect of the plomic is a matter of contention. Let's get ready for war. Yeah, you are... Yeah, risky. Well, that's fine. Making two a day. We're making a hundred and twenty-eight a day. That is going to take us a long time <laughs> to get all this. What race is get is uh, being quite well. You are producing the like tank two, the BT seven. You need. Over a thousand. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all good. More military factories? No, that's more civilian factories. You know what? Yeah, that should be fine. Let's go construct more military factories. Collective propaganda, right? Research slot, please, and thank you. Modify the government. Time is plus. Don't need that yet. Yeah, I guess purged you, didn't I? Enemy air support minus 10. Division recovery rate.
150 to roll one 100. Yeah, we'll go 100. So, uh, it's... There we go. Okay, you guys. Strategic bombing. No, no. We got here. Naval bombers. Uh, yeah, actually, I do want that because the Romanian fleet will be a problem. Let us go forth and conquer, shall we? Marco Polo Bridge incident. Japanese and Chinese forces have skirmished inconclusively over the strategic Marco Polo Bridge located just southwest of Beijing. China have rejected demand, Japan's demand for an apology and territorial concessions, claiming instead that the breaking point of Japanese aggression has been reached. Diplomats fear that the volatile situation could result in war at any time. Marco Polo incident has now occurred. So that's going to put a spanner in my works, isn't it? Because if you get allowed to join a faction, which would be horrendous. Institute World Dictatorship. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we're getting that extra research slot, which is lovely. Still haven't got enough town, still haven't got enough infantry equipment. Well, they're slowly getting the factories. Is there anywhere else we could get factories built? I guess it's the construction speed, which would be nice. That just adds infrastructure. Well, that just moves the factories. Our new officers approved. Excellent. Lovely. Uh, so, moving the factories to the aerials. We move. We gain. Just as many. So, in other words, we wouldn't lose any civilian. any factories. And we wouldn't. It doesn't change anything, so mm, not sure. Depends on how confident I am to be able to rift stand the might of the right Wehrmacht, doesn't it? It does. It does depend on that. Leningrad would be very vulnerable, especially if uh, Finland join in. You know what? You guys. It's a little bit there. Close air support would be at 100%. Lovely. KB1. That would give us a time penalty. So would that. 214, the SNK. October 1937. Do I want any air? Do I want an air doctrine? Do I want reinforcement rate? Well, give me that. <laughs> Go 
Don't have an extra resource slot, certainly. Reinforcement, division recovery rate, that's lovely. National unity, division organizations, not good. Line doctrine, research time. So the question becomes, is my actions, what, with the actions I'm doing, will I be able to... So what do we need? We need 70 strategic bombers. We need over a thousand light tanks. We need 3,000 support equipment, well, a surplus of... How are we doing with infantry equipment? We're above by 134. We need 16,000. Artillery is actually in the plus. What if I add artillery? Combat width is up to 21. I'm trying to remember is that a good thing or not? Probably not, actually. Ooh, actually, support artillery, getting you that. Total artillery, we've got 50 feet. It's been stockpiled, so let's cut back down on that. There we go. Sixth of April. Uh... So you support equipment. Oh my god, are my power troopers getting stuff? Holy moly. Holy moly, we're getting stuff. Station them here. Uh... Oh, I think I pressed the wrong button there. There we go. Oh, need a research slot. Oh, God, go. Production efficiency cap. That would go a long way. Land doctrine. We're not in 1939 at the moment. Not even in 1938. So, yeah, give me that. Oh, we can modify the government. So research time. Where do we finish this research time? Research time. There we go. They got tanks better. Extra research slot. Awesome. Uh, that will just give us infrastructure. That will give us infrastructure. That would just give us political power. Oh, we're not at war as well, so we couldn't. Uh, we could have a population. That would be nice. That gives us infrastructure. I guess the political power and plus three rubber. Yeah, we couldn't have that and political. Yeah.
you know what? Let's head down that line. We got another research slot. Oh! Oh! 20%. Japan to declare war on Shangxi. Build of the Japanese on the Chinese border. Following the Marco Polo Bridge incident, Japan has not, not let down on the pressure on the Chinese border. In conjunction with aggressive Japanese rhetoric, speaking of a terrible retaliation for China's refusal to cooperate, a renewed war between Japan and China seems more likely per day. The diplomatic situation will soon reach a boiling point, and Japan has expressed no interest in defusing the situation. Italy announces claims on the Yugoslavian territory. Speaking to the Italian populations amongst the Dalmaskin... Oh god, I've really overrun this, so I'll have to split it up into two parts. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, on the Dal Dalmatian coast, Benito Mussolini has announced that Italy fully considers Italian-speaking territory in Yugoslavia to be a rightful part of Italy. An official statement backed up the claims by making it clear Italy is prepared to take the territory by force, if it need, if need be. Okay. Holy moly. Holy moly. Battlefield support, strategy, operational integrity. So that's high level bombing, which is the one that the Russians probably would go for. Is it going to be battlefield support? Ground support. Formation flying, hunt to destroy, combat, eh, battlefield support. I would probably go. No, that's mass bombers formation. Mass bombers formation would probably be something that the Allies would do. Uh, you want to get me battlefield support? There we go. Indian National Congress triumphs in the provisional elections. In the regional and local elections, the Indian National Congress has achieved the overwhelming majority for their platform of slow and ordered transition from local government and dominion status in the future. It appears that the Indians have rejected the more radical process advocated by Gandhi, who had argued for a total break with Britain and absolute home rule as soon as possible. Did those really change anything? But anyway, thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video. I'm sorry for not ending ending the last video with this, but um, it's the thing with this game. I do get tied up, and I just lose track of time. But anyway, thank you everyone for watching. We'll see you all in the next video. Until then, toodles.